There often is for, for people who are maybe the first to go to university or the first to get a degree. There's a lot of people on the sidelines watching, you know, uh, hoping, wanting to see how you'll get on, how you'll do. And I certainly felt the weight of that expectation. Certainly as well in my own discussions with learners that, that they often feel um, the responsibility to do well so that they're paving the way for others that are coming behind them. I would imagine for some can be quite a, a burden to carry. That burden comes across quite significantly. Um, and we don't often recognise it within higher education. And I think for me, that's why it's so important, actually, that we're very conscious of students, particularly those from first and family backgrounds, because if we can support and ensure that they have a positive journey through uh, higher education, in a way, we're sending a signal back through the generations that, yes, you, you too can do this. And this is something that is uh, available and open to you as well. You're relatively new to CSU, so what's, what's your role and what's the plan? What are you going to do? My focus is on the higher degree research student journey. So in a way, it's an, a natural transition for me. I've largely focused on undergraduate uh, studies, uh, you know, researching that, that particular space and even pre-degree uh, and equity in that regard. But there's very little attention being paid to the higher degree research journey. And in fact, that's a key journey because uh, a number of our higher degree research students will go on and probably work in universities, not all of them. And so if we can encourage more diverse students to consider higher degree research, then in a way we're uh, recreating um, universities so that it's more reflective of a, a diverse society. I think CSU is in a, a really enviable position. It has a, a wonderful presence in its communities. It has a, a large geographic footprint. It's often situated in areas that are not well serviced by other universities. So for me, it was a deliberate decision to come to CSU because I can see uh, even greater potential um, for the university to really engage with those learners from more diverse backgrounds. Um, I think the university is already doing great things in this space, don't get me wrong, but the higher degree research journey is probably a little bit ignored or neglected in, in terms of equity. And, and that's probably the last great frontier, if you like, in terms of equity and making sure that we present or cast an equity lens on the higher degree research journey. So in your work across Australian universities, um, and you've worked very closely with students and, and their journeys, what, what are the, some of the stories that you've heard that have disturbed you most about equity and access and a sense of belonging? It's funny, when you're a qualitative researcher like I am, and I, I work with people's narratives, um, the stories stay with you. You know, so I mean, I, I think about the students who've told me where they've had to really fight very hard just to get to universities. So often in the school system, they're told that they'll never amount to anything. That's quite frequent. Um, they may, that may well, may well be echoed by members of their family who sort of say, well, why would you want to do that? You need to go out and get a job. Why would you want to go to university? And so by the time they get to university, they're already feeling, um, you know, maybe that they shouldn't be there. So it's often very small things that can make a big difference to them. Mm -hmm.